wish I had that shirt right now. Even if that fits with you well with my talk, please stay calm. Um, again, my name is Dane Ross. I can't hear you at the back. I'm speaking as loud as I can. Okay, all right. Um, I'll step up too. Um, again, my name is Dane Ross. I'm the CEO of Trajectory USA. We're a local based Chicago uh, company. We have uh, offices in 42 countries worldwide. More or less, uh, more than 9,000 companies uh, worldwide use our technology called Genexus. Um, uh, I see you all drinking beer, which I, I'm glad because you know it's a holiday in, in the United States right mm -hmm. now. So all my friends are barbecuing, sending me tweets, Facebook, hey, look at this. But I'm here, but I'm enjoying your company, so I'm gonna get a beer as soon as I'm done talking. So um, basically, I wanted just to um, um, talk about uh, keep calm and integrate all. And, and the reason why I want to talk about it is because. I work in Chicago, I, I work with Fortune 500 companies, 100, I work with startups, I really like working with startups. But I, I know that when startups come to us, and, and companies come to us, they, they, they're worried about a, a couple of key factors. One is how do I integrate everything together in, in mobile apps? Because I've been around for a long, I, I've been around for a long time. Um, my dad bought me a, a Apple TV 30 years ago, and I've been developing ever since. But many of you may be how many have heard of Green Tree? Okay, we have a few. I feel good. I started in the Green Tree world. Actually, I was recruited by uh, IBM to work in Rochester Lab right out of high school. So it was pretty exciting working with with, uh, with Green Tree. But all these things here are increment in, in our ecosystem to develop mobile apps today. Because we have, maybe not in Canada, but I'm sure there is, we have tons of customers selling Green Screen applications with applications in uh, AS100 with uh, in, uh, in, Informix, whatever. And we need to integrate our applications, mobile apps, with those. <coughs> we need to integrate with the desktops, the web apps, it, it, everything. So what I wanted to know is like, um, why do you guys move to do new platforms? I mean, I know you guys are really big BlackBerry here, right? I was at BlackBerry today, meeting with the BlackBerry headquarters. It was really cool. I think it's a great phone. but. Two years ago, we wouldn't even think about what it was Maybe you guys were, since uh, Infusion was thinking about it for sure, because they're, they're Microsoft. But we're trying to push our customers to Windows 8 too. I don't know if you guys have a lot of uh, Windows 8, uh, people come to you and say, I want a Windows 8 application. Where we see typically Windows 8 applications where companies need it for a specific reason, not because they want it. Because most times they either want an iPhone, an Android, maybe a Blackberry. But no one comes to me for Windows 8. Not at least, not at least in my community or in where I'm at. Usually it's political things, like the Democratic National Committee. We develop all their apps for them. They don't really want Windows 8. The reason why is because Microsoft donates tons of money to the Republicans and the Democratic, etc. So we also we also when we build apps, mobile apps, at least in my community, I'm sure you guys build a ton more apps than we do, but at least in my internet circle, when we build apps, we try to worry about how can we cost effectively build internal apps? How can we cost effectively build the apps for external? For external, for example, we have to keep our customers loyal, loyal to us. And to do that, we have to build, build apps for their platforms. For example, Infusion, I presume they have to build all their apps for Windows 8, which is great because that keeps our loyalty base with them. We do lots of iPhone and Android ourselves. But that's important. For internal basis, we have to keep cost down. We have to do cost effective things. There's lots of cool tools out there. We use Genesis. There's PhoneGap, there's Accelerator, there's uh, 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 Eclipse from IBM now. There's lots of cool tools. But, but what's stopping companies? Um, for when I speak um, with companies in the United States, what, what their biggest fear is mainly two or three things. But one is, do I have to rewrite my code? What about all my existing APIs? What do I do with that? How do I find developers? I've seen three people up here saying that they, if you want a developer, they can help you find them. Well, how do you find an iOS developer, an Android developer, a BlackBerry app developer, and a Windows 8 developer? It's, it's difficult. And, and also, the, the, the CEOs, like myself and other, like we, we care about the time and cost to develop apps. That's, that's what we care about. And, and, and which app's going to bring the most return on value if I'm, uh, if I, if I'm going to be selling my apps? <coughs> So I'm sure you guys have a lot more bubbles than this. These are the eight I thought of. And I'm sure there's many, many more. But when, when you start thinking about building mobile apps, 
you have to think about so many different things. Like, you just can't have a good app. It has to be a killer app. Like, you have to have a good UX, UI, design has to be good. You have to worry about all, all the new devices. And I don't even know what's going to happen because Apple is so secretive, but something big is going to happen with the new version of iOS. It's going to be dramatically different. Does that mean there's blogs about how is that going to affect you as developers? How is it going to affect me as a developer when a new, when a new iOS version comes out uh, June 11th? It's going to be big. So, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. So, how do we go to, uh, how do we do it cost effectively? Let's go to the next one. So, what we, do, what we do, and what I'm not trying to have you swallow the, the, the purple pill, it's not at all. I'm just saying what we do in, in my community is we try to convince customers that you, you have to worry about new functionalities when you're developing apps. You have to be platform independent. You have to be able to integrate easily with APIs. You have to you have to be worried about UX. You have to be worried about UI. It's important. You have to be multi-platform. I, I tell startups every day when they come and talk to me or, or wherever, High Park Angels or 1871 or whatever Chicago is, you know, if you're going to build an app, just don't build it for iOS. Just don't build it for Android. Build it at least for both at least. Or build it for Blacks or whatever. Or Windows 8. You just can't, you can't rely on just one platform, at least I think so. Maybe you think different, but at least what I, it's what I think. And, and, and the words go. So, as David mentioned, um, they're starting Genexus Canada here. They're working closely with BlackBerry and some, some large banks. I can't remember the names. Um, sorry, some royal thing. Um, <laughs> uh, so, basically, in, in this is like, like I mentioned, there, there's like some really killer um, mobile app development tools out there. Some of our customers use those, and some of our customers use Genesis. Obviously, you can see that our philosophy is very simple. We have a software development tool that builds software. We're not trying to say it's the best thing since sliced bread. It, it, it's not the grail of all, but it's a tool that allows developers to be more cost effective. They can develop applications faster. It's just historically, you can see when a new technology comes out, we come out with a new generator. Like now, we're I'm not going to read all those. But how do we do it? We do it very simplistic. We, we, we allow you to use your own current systems, your own current data. We build mobile web, uh, and we still build some Windows apps. It's not, not that far, but we still do. We still build some RPG and mobile apps, but those are more for manufacturing. But how, but Gen and Genexus, um, about a year and a half ago, we just had Objective-C, Java for Android, Java for Blackberry, and then when when the community started telling us we want more Windows 8 apps, that's when we generated the Windows 8 generator. So, <coughs> what I'm just trying to say is like, when you when you build apps, whether you use PhoneGap, Accelerate, uh, Eclipse, or a tool like Genesis, you need to make sure that the tool can help you uh, integrate your UX team, all your teams together, your coders, because what, what we see when we go into a company where we sell a Genesis tool, we sell ourselves whatever, we want to make sure the most important people in the company are the people that know the product. If they have to learn new technology, they'd rather hire some developer inside the company to develop, which is okay, but they, you lose the business knowledge that you lose. So if I can just wrap up, um, when, you, when you integrate all, you have to think about all the main things, but um, I'm not going to read those because you can read yourself, but I think the most key one is the mobile features. Whenever a company comes to us and we talk about, do I do HTML5, do I do, I do Amweb, do I do native apps, we, I always first thing to say native apps. Because native apps, you can use all the functionality of the phone. And especially the thing with the new iOS coming out with uh, Apple is going to change things. So 